Hi friends, welcome back to Panda Class with Mr. B. Nice to see you again, friends. We have our students, we have little Bam, and we have little Boo. Today's story, friends, is The Soup Bone. This is by Tony Johnston, and it's illustrated by Margaret Tomes. It's a bit of a scary story. Are you ready, friends? I know you are. Ooh, this story was written in 1990. A little old lady lived on top of a hill. It was Halloween. She loved that night, but nobody ever came to visit her on Halloween. Her house was too high up. The little old lady felt lonely, and she felt hungry, so she put some things in a pot. Here I have potatoes, onions, carrots, and peas, she said to herself, for she had nobody else to talk to. But my soup is thin. I need a good soup bone. Hmm. What is she talking about? A soup bone. She looked for a soup bone. She opened the cupboards and drawers and peeked on the shelves. A soup bone, a soup bone, where could one be? She said to herself. All the while, there was no soup bone, not one. She looked outside. She looked under the lawn furniture and behind a tree. She found lots of things, but no soup bone. So she began to dig. A soup bone? A soup bone? Where could one be? She said to herself all the while. Hmm. What is she going to find if she digs? <gasps> then she struck something. It was hard and white and bony looking. A soup bone, cried the little lady. She clapped her hands and sang and danced a little dance until the bone jumped all by itself. It was lots of bones. It was a skeleton. The little old lady stopped and singing and dancing. She began shrieking and running for all things in the world. She was most afraid of skeletons. Boogity boo clacked the skeleton and it ran after her. Clickety clackety its white bones and chittery chattering its white teeth. For all things in the world that love to chase people the most because they scream so loud. The skeleton chased the little old lady up a tree. It stayed on the ground for if it fell from that tree and broke its bones. Makes sense. Wouldn't want to go up the tree, break your bones. Skittle, skittle, skeleton, shouted the old lady, frightened though she was. Why, yes, ma'am, lady, the skeleton clickety clacks loudly. I'll just skittle, skittle into your house. And it did. Whew, wouldn't want a skeleton skittle, skittling into my house. It looked all around. It smelled something good. Soup, said the skeleton to itself, for it had nobody else to talk to. Soup will taste good. I have not tasted anything good in years. So the skeleton sat down noisily, clickety-clack, clickety-clack, to eat that soup. But, woof, woof. Oh no, the poor skeleton. <gasps> the skeleton stopped eating. It began running all around, clickety clackety clickety clackety. All for all things in the world, it was most afraid of dogs because they bark so loud. Woof woof! Barked the dog and chased that skeleton man. The skeleton looked for a thin place to hide. The closet <gasps> was full of brooms. Where else could he hide? The linen drawer. It was full of sheets. Then the skeleton had a good idea. It slipped right under the bed. But... Woof! 
The dog jumped on top. I'm stuffed, cried the skeleton. Now that dog will eat me. Its white teeth, chittery chattery. Its white bones chatted. And it was very scary. Oh no, what's gonna happen, friends? <gasps> then the little old lady stepped out of her Halloween costume. She peeked under the bed and said, I will not eat you. I will pull you out, but promise not to scare me anymore. I promise if you promise not to scare me. So they promised no more scaring. Then they sat down and ate the soup. It was still thin, but it tasted good. The little old lady said, I was looking for soup bone and I found company. I am lucky. I am tired of talking to myself all day in the house, all night in the house. I wasn't looking for anything and company found me, said the skeleton. I am lucky. I am tired of talking to myself all day under the ground, all night under the ground. They ate and they talked to each other. Then the little lady played the piano. The skeleton played his bones. There was nothing else to eat. There was nothing else to do. Now what? asked the skeleton. It is Halloween, said the little old lady. Let's go scare somebody. Yes, let's, cried the skeleton. So they did. The, bone, the soup bone. That was a scary story, wasn't it, friends? Well, thanks for stopping by and subscribing to Panda Class with Mr. B. Just want to thank our students, little Bam, little Boo. All right, friends, the count of three. Raise our left hands in the air. One, two, three. Pinch, pot, pinch, pot, cheese, cheese, cheese. Pinch, pot, pinch, pot, cheese, cheese, cheese. All right, friends, I'll see you soon. Bye.